washing soda today's lesson first of all let's see what is washing soda this is sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate this is called baking soda when this baking soda is added to tartaric acid at the ratio 1 is to 2 then this mixture is called baking powder this is sodium carbonate it is known as soda ash when this soda ash is added to water then sodium carbonate combines with 10 molecules of water and remains as crystal this sodium carbonate with 10 molecules of water is called washing soda so this is washing soda sodium carbonate 10 molecules of water sodium carbonate decahydrate deca means 10 so sodium carbonate decahydrate is called washing soda now let's see how we can prepare washing soda through chemical reactions now the point is preparation of washing soda that means sodium carbonate decahydrate it is prepared from sodium bicarbonate and from sodium hydroxide first of all when sodium bicarbonate that means baking soda is heated at the temperature 300 degrees centigrade then sodium carbonate water and carbon dioxide gas are formed when this sodium carbonate is added to water and it is heated then sodium carbonate undergoes crystallization and as a result washing soda is formed in this way from baking soda washing soda can be prepared number two when carbon dioxide gas is passed through the solution of caustic soda that means sodium hydroxide then sodium carbonate is formed and as byproduct here water is formed when this soda ash that means sodium carbonate is added to water and if it is heated then sodium carbonate undergoes crystallization and as a result washing soda is formed here we can put 10 here also we can put 10 in this way washing soda can be prepared from baking soda and from carbon dioxide and caustic soda now let's see the importance of washing soda that means importance of sodium carbonate decahydrate now the point is importance of washing soda washing soda is used as cleansing agent in household and industry 
it is used in paper textile soap and detergent industries washing soda is used in glass industry to manufacture glass and it is used to soften hard water now let's see how washing soda is used to soften hard water now the point is mechanism to soften hard water by washing soda there are two types of hardness of water one is temporary hard water and another one is permanent hard water first of all let's try to see what are those when calcium bicarbonate magnesium bicarbonate iron bicarbonate salts are dissolved in water then this water is called temporary hard water and this property is called temporary hardness temporary hard water because this hardness is removed only applying heat in this way suppose this is calcium bicarbonate when it is heated then insoluble calcium carbonate is formed and water is formed so this hardness is removed only applying heat and after that calcium carbonate is insoluble in water that is that deposits as precipitate and water becomes soft from hard water so this hardness of water is removed only applying heat that is why this hardness is called temporary hardness of water but when calcium chloride magnesium sulfate iron sulfate these salts are dissolved in water then this water is called permanent hard water and this phenomenon is called permanent hardness of water in this case only applying heat this hardness cannot be removed and in this case washing soda is used to remove hardness of water and washing soda that means sodium carbonate 10 molecules of water this is used to remove temporary and permanent hardness of water now let's see how washing soda helps to remove hardness of water now the point is removal of hardness of water by washing soda the salt of hard water is suppose calcium chloride or calcium sulfate when washing soda is added to the water then this soluble salt turns into insoluble calcium carbonate sodium chloride and water are formed as by product so here calcium carbonate is insoluble in water that is why it deposits as precipitated here the hard water minerals that is calcium iron similarly magnesium iron 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 are removed as precipitated adding washing soda in this way hardness of water that means minerals of hard water are removed adding washing soda in this way hard water becomes soft water in hard water 
soap and detergent cannot function properly but when this hardness of water is removed by adding washing soda then soap and detergent can function properly in this way washing soda helps soap and detergent to clean clothes now let's see the basic nature of sodium carbonate basic nature of sodium carbonate when sodium carbonate is dissolved in water then sodium hydroxide and carbonic acid are formed sodium hydroxide is a strong base so it dissociates almost 100 percent but here carbonic acid is a kind of weak acid it remains almost undissociated and the solution bears huge amounts of hydroxide ion because of the presence of these huge amounts of hydroxide ion the solution of sodium carbonate shows basic nature this is all about washing soda no more today thank you very much